and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, you guessed it right, there's another Venus OS 3.31 update available as of today. Let's just start the video as always. We'll look into the change log, release notes, whatever you want to call them, and then we'll jump into updating my test unit and then also my production unit, and in this case, Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 3 in that order. And it does mean for me at the moment, I'm having more and more components as I promised will connect to it and we'll see if all components afterwards still work, plus if the Node-RED also still works. Let's start with that. That's the announcement, Venus OS version 3.31, various improvements. And let's look at the change log. And here we have it. I marked already a couple of things yellow, which I thought is standing out, at least for me, but um, it might be totally different for you. So when you look at those ones, that's what you can see. Um, and as always, please pause because I'm going through it really quick. Here we have the channel and we do have two times um, issues which were introduced in version 3.30 last time. Um, so fix a bug that didn't cause UI to show a green square as well as a remote console locking up. Uh, that's the first one and the second, I'll jump to the third point, um, user interface, fix alarm icon showing while there's no alarm. Those two were introduced with 3.30, and then we have a fix EVCS firmware update over VRM failing on fast network connections, as well as, yeah, please, as mentioned, pause if there's something important to you, which you can read. And those are, yeah, here, the energy meter, fix power readings. That's uh, something which is quite interesting, I think, as well. Also, we can see Venus as, as large. Uh, in this case, the Signal K server uh, is getting an update, it looks like. Um, no node red it looks and there is then there is some developer related uh, information which they share here as well uh, which I'm not going into but I can see MQTT and that's probably something which you guys might recognize so it means for me let's just jump into my test unit and my test unit um, that's what it looks like at the moment I do have the multi plus 248 volt uh, connected to this one um, that's pretty much it. Um, I have the unit right in front of me and there is also a display connected so we will be able to test the display afterwards as well. At least I will for you. <laughs> so that's what we can see here. I think one, one thing is missing is probably the temperature but um, I might have played around with it. Let's switch here to the menu so you can see what's actually connected. Oh yeah, here something is... let's... there we go. This is now what I have connected. We do have one wire Oh, should not click on that. We have one wire, we have the multi-plus, we have a raspberry processor temperature and a smart hunt. And I have a very low state of charge. I know, playing around with it, right? So that's what we have. Also, we have, let me go to that. This is the node red we'll talk about and we'll test as well if it's available afterwards again. What I can see, the battery temperature is not connected. Yeah, I'm playing around with that a lot, so that's why there is no battery temperature at the moment uh, visible. Just ignore that one. So let's continue. I would recommend the next port. And that's what I'm doing here. So I'll mark everything with uh, control A, go to the three dots, go to export, and then I just want to have download copy. I want to have a download. Ideally, just as a JSON, probably. Download. Done. So in case I need to get it back, I can import it from this file. Hopefully, I've never tried it actually, so that's something which is on the bucket list. Okay, that means let's jump over. All right, let me go into the settings. Then we'll go to firmware. Then we see firmware version 3.30. We'll go to online updates. Then we have um, update feed as the official release. We'll stick with that. Image type is large. We'll stick with that. Let's check if there's any new version. And there is. Surprise. Let's update that one, right? Press to update. Well, at least I did. There we go. And as always, I'll be back when it's rebooted. <laughs> All right. So now I have to interrupt. So the first time it did stop at 53% or something. It just rebooted. The second time it said install 100%, but it didn't say reboot. Now it did reboot. I can see the node red is not working. So going to firmware and still see it's still the version 3.30. I'm wondering if my power supply might have some issues, but I'll do it a third time. The second time I didn't show you, but let me do another time and then uh, we'll be back in a minute. 
I'm wondering what it's doing at 99% until it gets to 100. Oh, firmware installed, rebooting. That's a good sign. The third time is a charm, it looks like, so fingers crossed it comes back up. You can see it's rebooting, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I can see it is starting, so let me try to reconnect. Yeah, there we are. Interesting, it has already set up help installed. Let's do the first quick check firmware, just wanna see what it says. Okay, okay. Wow, that was quick then. Um I'm pretty sure there's something happening in the background still. We will see. We'll go through. So after the reboot was done, um, as mentioned three times, it took me to um, get this where it is now. Uh, I'm pretty sure Node Red does not work, but we'll figure it out in a second. So going to settings, firmware, and then we can see we have 3.31 installed. Let's go to online updates right quick, just to see, press and check. Oh, no new version available, that's good. Let's go back to menu. Let's scroll down and we have the one wire connected, we have the multi plus, we have the raspberry processor temperature and the smart chart. So everything what should be here is here. I'll go to settings, I'll go to the package manager all the way to the bottom, which is the setup helper, because it is already installed. It's checking for updates and everything else. I don't know if there will be a lot of updates since it's just released today. Uh, let me go to pages really quick. We can see the multi plus. We can trigger it here. Turn it on. It just kicked on. Let me see. I don't see that one. I can see my relay. I can hear my relay. It does work. The second one is a temperature, so it's automatic. Um, let me go over here. Looks good. Okay, that looks good in my opinion. Let's check with menu and settings. I want to see the node red right now. So scrolling almost all the way down right above the package manager. Large features and there we can see node red is enabled. So that means when I change to here and update this page I can see it's still there. Yay I didn't do anything. It just came back online. That's great. Okay. Whew. I'm happy. I don't know what happened. Um, I have to investigate on my unit uh, because I'm using a, a power supply which is not <laughs> which is not a power supply. It's just a USB port. So it uh, might be not sufficient when it has more load. Um, just a guess. I don't know if it is. It took me three times so it worked and it did not delete anything. So that's very very important. Let's see if not red. Yeah, you can hear it. And then we have also I set it to on. I'll set it to off now. Multi plus. Did I set it already to off? I don't know what I did. Let's see. Let's see really quick. Oh, multi plus is on. It says it's on off, so it takes a little minute probably. Okay, I rebooted it. Let's see, reconnect. Pages. So I did reboot both actually. Switch the pages. There's a little delay here. So currently it's in the on position, button wise, but it's off, so. That is quicker. That's a good connection. Let's get it back. It's, uh, just set to invert. Yeah. And there it is back. Just the battery temperature sensor is not showing up anyways. I ignored it because it was not working before. As I mentioned, I might have a defect uh, battery negative cable which I need to replace. Okay, let's see. Node red is working. Uh, I'm in the on position. I'll want to have it off. And it, yeah, that's how it should be. Okay, I need an extra reboot of both. Might be required, might be necessary, might be just useful. Uh, it looks good. My touch screen does work, looks like. Yeah, looks good. So um, we'll continue with the Raspberry Pi 3, which is the production device, which has a couple other things connected. So it means switching over. Uh, it's also in the dark mode, as always, to identify it better. So right now we have, it looks a little different, right? When I go to menu, you can see we have a Phoenix inverter. There's not a video coming out, just an easy tutorial how to set it up and configure it and connect it to your Victron Venus OS configuration. As well, I have a propane tank, which is outside, still connection up to here, which is great. 
Uh, then we have the Raspberry Pi temperature, processor temperature, then we have a smart chart, and we have a MPPT charger, which is currently not connected. That's why it's at zero watt, but it's in here. So that means going to settings. Um, going, by the way, I have not set up anything regarding node red here on this device. Oh, and no touch screen. Going to firmware, going to online updates, and oh, we can see already, it's there already. So we'll just go ahead and install it, I would say. By the way, it's also the large image, so uh, as soon as we're back, we'll see. There's no display on it, so I don't see anything what's happening. I'll just try to reconnect later if uh, there's an internet, if, if it says at 100% and rebooting or if there's not an issue. Okay, so it just did reboot. Let's reconnect and see what happens. Or if, well, still doing something it looks like. Oh, we are back. It looks like no setup helper installed at the moment. So let's see what happens here. And yes, I know it's not 100%. Um, I just did connect other batteries, so. <laughs> can see it's 100% but only 13.19 volts so let's see I'm double clicking on settings going to firmware really quick and we can see it did install 3.31 but most likely scrolling all the way down we have a package manager okay we'll see what happens here reinstalling packages after firmware update nice that's exactly what I love about setup helper I'll be just the link in case you haven't installed it yet so it means active packages. We should just wait a little bit more and longer and then there might be a reboot of the GUI and then uh, we might back or might be back with everything online, what we wanted to have online. Yeah, it looks like um, probably the GUI mod or something is being installed right now. Let's reconnect. All right, yeah, that's what I love to see. We have our inverter, Phoenix inverter, propane tank is even here, Raspberry Pi temperature. Smart chart. Oh, did you lose the MPPT? No, it's still doing stuff. Oh, there it is. Okay, nice. Everything's here. Let's go. Pages. Always takes a little bit at the beginning. Double click on pages again. Nice. All right. Yeah, there we are. That is exactly what I want to see. I have the option to click on the inverter, which is here behind me at the moment, on and off. Pretty nice. All right, guys, I think successfully upgraded with 3.31. If you have any questions, feedback, whatever you want to see or need to see in those kind of videos, please let me know. I hope uh, this is helpful, useful for you. Subscribe to the channel if you like that stuff, as well as other energizing battery stuff, or maybe, maybe sometimes stuff for camping, overlanding, and cheaping. Thanks for watching. Cheers!